And here we have You Must Be Present to Win, and we're going to be talking tonight about how our distractions can sometimes keep us from health and happiness and success. And we've already seen some examples of that. And I started into this, it's not necessarily my passion, but my passion is helping people. And I've been seeing more and more of my clients talking to me about um, anxiety and depression. And as I was working with them more, oh, and here, um, I have to apologize for this slide because um, I was told by the presenters to give a bio, and I thought that they said give the biology of me. So a um, little bit of a synthesis of the different things that I'm, my passions and uh, careers and interests over the years. And um, I put on some weight since then. So, um, so you might be saying, distractions? You know, what distractions? But I've been talking to a lot of you tonight, and some of you know what your distractions are. And rest assured, I'm not going to tell you it's not OK to have distractions, because they can be very healthy. They can you know, get your mind off of things um, on the one hand. And on another level, the distractions, this is a um, slide by my friend uh, Sachi Swick. So this is a little bit of what my life has been looking like. And uh, I wanted you to take a, just a moment to think about what your own distractions are. And again, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that distractions are terrible, um, but it's when you find yourself, you know, on the computer until bed, and then you wake up in the morning, you immediately check your iPhone, and then you check your iPhone every spare minute. And uh, I said this before, I can quit at any time. It's, you know, it's like any addiction. You know, we have a 24-hour access now to everything with the internet, and um, so we don't, and our brains and our bodies really don't know how to handle all this information. So uh, the one way to figure out whether it's an addiction or not is whether you can hold your promise. So this says multitasking, um, screwing up several things at once. I don't know if you've seen the statistics, but uh, it decreases productivity by 40%, lowers your IQ by 10 points, kills your creative thinking, it limits your ability to make wise decisions, and it impairs your memory function. So have at it. Um, the, the big problem here is that we have a reptilian brain, and that brain is wondering, are we safe? So it's asking that question a billion times every second. I made that statistic up. Um, but then it responds to what it's taking in. So if it, and your body cannot tell the difference between a scary movie and real life. And so it thinks there's a bear in the room. And then what this actually does to your body, some of you might be experiencing this, you know, it increases your blood pressure, and it decreases... Um, your sex drive, and it's, you know, you can't, your immune system becomes depressed. And so there are real repercussions to just constantly bombarding your body. Your brain needs to rest just like your body needs to rest. And a big problem here with this is that we, we don't even know who we are as a people sometimes, that we're so connected that we don't even know what we want to do, who we want to do it with. Um, and so we end up doing things we hate, and we end up going, why did I do that? So. Um, I have a, a friend who, um, first time she did yoga and sat in Shavasana, she figured out that something was terribly wrong with her, and she went to the doctors and found out she had cancer. So just sitting still can even tell you those important things. And of course, if you're in a relationship, you know how it impacts your relationship. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. And uh, that doesn't really work so well, at least in my experience. <laughs> so... So it's good to take an assessment of where you are. Are you, are you happy? Are you having good health? Are you having good relationships? And then take a, a, a step from there and say, well, where do you want to be if it's not that? And there's many ways that you can conscious, using your conscious mind, you can change you know, where you are on this scale. Um, the issue is that 90% of our lives are, are controlled by our subconscious, which is below uh, the water there. So if you're distracting to keep yourself from feeling emotions or to keep yourself from a different, uh, a, a deep experience, then you're, you may not be able to address it with, you know, a conscious mind alone. And that's when you're going to need to rework your neural pathways. We'll be talking about that sometime. You, you, you need something that addresses it, your, your brain at this level. And, you know, like BEST, which is what I do, bioenergetic synchronization technique, it reworks the neural pathways um, to be more responding to present time and to be healthier. And, you know, your body, unlike, you know, we might think, is not solely there to walk our head around. Um, but we, we often think that. Uh, so one, one thing to, we, I really want to stress here is one of the very easy ways to do it is to get in your body. And in fact, we have a second brain located in our stomach, which is in the enteric uh, system, and this is your gut feeling. So in order to get to that gut feeling, we got to unplug, folks. Okay? Not just me, but I know a few others of you have to unplug. What is your body trying to tell you? Is it telling you to relax? Is it telling you to chill out? Is it telling you to go for a run? 
Um, just spending time without something in your ear, without something in your face, telling you what to do, using that. And um, exactly. I might just sit for. There is an app called Doing Do Absolutely Nothing for Two Minutes, and it's just waves and all that. Um, on top of that, you know, meditation is just, there are tons and tons of research about how meditation helps everything um, from your happiness to your health. And it, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to get the fancy clothes and, you know, get this incense. You can just sit still and, you know, just be still and see what comes up for you. Um, and then remember, it's a muscle. So um, Sachi Swick from Good Day Goldfish uh, did this art here and um, we really need to be breathing into our bellies and into the lower lungs, uh, into the lower lobes of our lungs to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system instead of the fight or flight that we're in. So lots of deep belly breathing where your stomach comes out uh, when you breathe in and it goes back uh, when you breathe out. And you know, most important of all, as I said, just moving your body, doing yoga, walking, dancing, gardening, biking. Um, anything you can think of that gets you out of your head and into your body, you're going to be doing yourself a big favor. So in conclusion, uh, we're going to have, we're going to just be inspiring ourselves to focus on our health by getting in touch with ourselves, beginning and ending each day in, in solitude and silence with feelings and gratitude, get in your body, and go ahead and get yourself a best treatment to update the nervous system. And I've Loved being here. I love talking about this. So grab me and ask any questions you want. Thanks so much.